Last night I went to see the Minions Rise of Gru by myself instead of seeing Elvis because it was too long. This is where I'm at in life. If you don't know, Minions The Rise of Gru is a sequel to Minions, which was a prequel to the Despicable Me trilogy. I know this because I'm a sad grown adult man. But I'm also a grown adult man that likes to have fun. Let out some laughs once in a while, some belly chuckles, and this movie delivered. Here's the deal, we're five movies deep in this Illumination franchise, and if you haven't been on board prior, you're not gonna jump on now. But if you like the last Minions movie, I thought it was mediocre but watchable, this one I think is a bit better. Not a lot better, but it moves a lot quicker. I found that hour and 25 minutes just fly by. This review is less for people that are suddenly like, you know what, I should give those Minions movies a chance, those look like grade A material. But this is more for parents and what they can expect, and also for the one man who went alone, sat in the back of the theater, questioning his entire existence. What it's all about. Let me talk about the film. Gru's coming into his own as a supervillain. He's 11 years old, I believe. He's still voiced by Steve Carell, which is impressive. They must have done some voice modulation to get him to sound younger. Either that or Carell's just incredibly gifted at sounding like an 11-year-old boy, which, I mean, he is a talented actor. I wouldn't put it past him. Gru is also a major fanboy when it comes to this supervillain squad called the Vicious Six. They have a new opening. They're looking for a guy to replace their old leader. So the first half of the movie is about little Gru trying to impress these guys. Did I call him Groot earlier in this review? I think I said Gru, but we're gonna, we're gonna press past it. The first half of the movie works way better than the second half, which really goes off the rails. I don't even know what's happening. A lot of it takes place in San Francisco in Chinatown. There's a martial arts section in the movie that leads to this epic climatic battle that I don't really think anybody wanted to see. And the last 20 minutes is nothing but colorful noise. The kids will be invested, I will say that much. If you have like a little seven or eight year old, they're not gonna get bored. There, there's stuff happening constantly. It is after all an Illumination movie, so it's like ADD on steroids. The other big hang up I have is it's called Minions, but really it's just the three or four core Minions that we follow through this thing. We don't get a lot of time with the whole crew. And from an animation standpoint, it makes sense. That has to be a total pain in the ass to put all of those yellow characters together, all those little Twinkies running around. So it's easier to just focus on a couple of them. But the scenes that does feature the entire ensemble, so much funnier. There's just so many little sight gags and comments and little things you pick up. The movie more than any of the others is really a collection of like SNL skits. We get a lot of three to four minute sequences of random stuff happening. Sometimes it works really well, other times I'm just like, okay, let's move on to the next Family Guy joke. Let's keep this thing moving. And it does move very quickly. One of my favorite parts is how Otto is telling Gru about how he lost the medallion and they kind of go through the play-by-play -play of how that unfolded. It's, it's, it's pretty funny all around. Also, I don't know if Otto has been in any of the other Minions movies. I feel like this is a new character. Maybe he was in the last one. They all kind of blend together. Regardless, he gets a lot of time in the spotlight in this one. Big focus on this character who is never seen again in the Despicable Me movies. That's kind of sad. What happened to Otto? What, uh, Otto asphyxiation? How, how, did this, how did this character go? Once again, it's done by Illumination Studios. They have exactly one type of animation that they can do. It works, it looks nice, we move on. And the movie takes place in the 70s, so we get the fashion, we get the music, which there's a lot of good jams uh, playing in the background, and we even have characters ripped straight out of the era, including one of the most vocal members of the supervillain group. Uh, I don't know her name, but I call her Foxy Cleopatra because she's essentially the character from Austin Powers 3. Beyonce. I mean, what else can I say? It's a Minions movie. It's They're harmless. There's no real social commentary that's gonna make Karens clutch their pearls. Tons of childish humor to make your kids stay in a seat and not run up and down like an asshole. And yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't even know if there was really a fart joke in this one, which is wild, wild to say. There you have it, Minions 2, The Rise of Gru. Where does it sit in like a ranking, if we have to do that? I would say Despicable Me 2 is still my favorite. Then Despicable Me 1. Despicable Me 3, then this, then that last Minions movie. Th th this is like very comparable to the last Despicable Me, but I think it moves faster than that. And also it's short as heck, which I appreciate. If you saw the new Minions already, let me know in the comments what you thought. Are you, are you just totally against these? Are you better than them? That's fine, it's understandable. I'm not. 
Uh, let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you had some fun. Subscribe if you haven't already as I post tons of movie and TV show content each and every week here. Would love to have you stick around. We have fun here. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, fart jokes. Thanks again for watching, and since you stuck around, maybe think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, or become a member right here on YouTube via that join button. It's a great way to show your support for me and the channel, say thanks for putting out all this content, and it helps me to keep going, helps keep me motivated. There's a $1 tier even, where you just say, Adam, $1 a month? Yeah, you're, you're worth absolutely that. And, and not really anymore, but here's a dollar. Keep going.